meeting the people and uh, being outdoors and just everything in general about it. I like it because I'm outside and I like to communicate with people. I like to be able to talk to them. Yeah, I do like it because you're outside. You get to meet a lot of people, which I like to do. I don't like the rain especially, but you have to, you know, good at the bad. And uh, I like to move around. Can't stand, to, you know, just to sit still. So, Carl Hoffman's a pretty good job. Well, it seems that in 1920, probably, uh, my father, J.G. Kirby, got the idea of serving people at their cars, food and drink. Now, we used young boys for car hops then, primarily because it was an interim job while they were going to school, most of them high school students. World War II kind of changed the picture a little bit. Uh, they went off to war and they had to replace them with someone and obviously it was females. My wife and I was talking one day when a football game was on and uh, we noticed how pretty those little girls looked in shorts and the baton leaders and cheerleaders and uh, we thought that uh, how about opening up a drive-in? We started out with five girls in shorts and uh, Business just got so good that we couldn't take care of the customers. And uh, we had to put on more girls. And first thing you knew, we had over 100 girls working every day. Well, the girls had to be real pretty, the prettiest girls we could find. And we had really the pig of the field because jobs were real hard to get then. And we could really pick out the girls that we wanted. And they weren't too short, or not too tall, and not too fat. We had uh, so many girls that we had to have head car hops on each shift. And they watched out for the girls and uh, reported to us if they wasn't working right or they was working right. And we had lockers all in, the, in the, the girls' locker room. Each one of them had their own had their own locker with a number on it, and they would go ahead and uh, change their clothes and come back dressed up. Then Miss Sybil's there, or the head girl would inspect all of them. They had to polish their boots every day, and they had to have their uniforms neat and clean at all times.
During the heyday of the drive-ins in the 1950s, the early 50s, and the middle 50s, the average age of the girl was around 22, 23 years old, anywhere from 18 to 35, much as it is today. The ages was uh, about 18 to 25. I've been car hopping since I was 13. And some of the girls kind of stored about the age. They was, instead of being 18, they were about 15, 16, but they were, they looked like they were older than 15, 16 years old. But we never did get any trouble over them, but you wasn't supposed to hire anybody to sell beer under, uh, under 18. During the, the early period, uh, they didn't have a tray that we think of as uh, being put on the car window for them to be served, so they used round trays. And obviously this was inconvenient to customers laying them in their lap and not being experienced in spilling things, so uh, my dad began to think about a, a better idea and uh, he had a man design a tray that would hook on the car. When I first started out, I could only carry one tray. I can carry about a total of five trays without. That's four in one hand and one in the other. And this woman that worked on Samuel, she told me that I was going to learn how to carry three trays that night. I have never spilled like one thing on a customer I can knock on wood and say thanks. So I spilled things all over everybody. You know, and, but then when I got the hang of it, it was really good. You know, I could do it real good. But I did make a lot of mistakes the first night, a lot of them. And uh, something funny is the time I went out, I had ordered a chocolate malt, and the chocolate malt spilled all over me. I just had a, a brand new suit on. I mean, it was brand new, and it was clean, you know, and everything. And I had to walk around the rest of the day with sticky, gooey chocolate malt. <laughs>